At the beginning of the Third Age, after the fall of Atlantis, and before the rise of the Dino Sapiens, men realized that flesh was cringe, and longed for the certainty of steel, but could not figure its <coughs> secret. Hey, oh, I'm still sick. So arcade video games, it is. We're gonna play Boogie Wings. That's right, Boogie Wings. For you, for you, for you, all for you. Let me get rid of the Doom music. Whoopsie poopsie. One moment, I gotta go get the chat now. <coughs> Professional streamer. Professional streamer. But Ted, you say to yourself, Ted, you're not a street, you're not a professional. And I say yes, but that's beyond the point, me. Let's play Boogie Wings, me. I'm sick. Flesh is cringe. Steel is strong. And I am Tarak. Yes, the power of super big fight laser. Okay, let's let's go. I press the button now. The great ragtime show. I don't know the story of this video game, so it could be oh no. Get in your biplane, Harold the Biplane, inventor of the biplane. I'm sick, I'm sorry. The bits aren't going to be funny. So you're saying your bits are funny, Dad. Good, good point, me. <coughs> okay, we have to fight what looks to be uh, Captain Crunch in his biplane. Captain Horatio Magellan Crunch here. Oh, oh no, my chat! Oh no, one moment. One moment, one moment, one moment, oh no. Oh no. There we go. I, I fucked up. Okay, let's go. Let's fight this imp this improbable uh, flying ship here. <coughs> what people in the 1800s thought the 1930s would be. If you hear the click of my arcade stick, good. We did it. We defeated the stage. Ragtime! That's a musical genre. Uh, Coney Island, spelt incorrectly. We're going to an amusement park island. And then there's this mayor here, and oh, well, uh, well, he was the professor. But where's Marianne and Gilligan on Gilligan's Island? Ah, uh, yeah, sexy's ra uh, ra Okay, that was from Trio the Punch. That happened. And here comes Captain Crunch and his improbable flying s steam pterodactyl. And here I am killing what appears to be Native Americans on Little Mo Merry Ground. They're just enjoying their day at the, you know, at the park, and here I am killing them with a the gun. It's not the worst thing that's happened to the Native Americans, but th that's got to be up there on the list of atrocities happened to them. For a second there, I thought that said Clan Magic, but it did not. It did not say Ku Klux Klan Magic, because that's not magic. That's just murder. That's murder. That's murder and bigotry. That's not magic at all. That's the opposite of magic, in fact. 
Blah, blah. Yet again, I thought that said roller. <coughs> queen. I thought that said roller queen. Okay, we're in TikTok of Oz. We're not in the Tin Man because the Tin Man is a cyborg and TikTok is a robot. There are differences, people. There are differences. I'm going to turn on my fan. I'm sorry if you can hear it. Oh, that's better. Oh, but how am I else going to perform the infinite spin if the haunts is not here? Well, my man is dead. That's all that matters. And here come the Blues Brothers from the 1980s and the 1930s. They're dead now. Oh, I can't do the voice. Oh, yes, more flying preposterry preposterries. That's not even a word. How do I go? I want to get in the robot. I want to get in the robot. Why is the guy from the trio the punch here? Please explain. <coughs> Data East. Okay, I'm... Oh, I, well, I killed her. Oh, no. And Bustin makes me feel good. Oh, hey, it's Frankenstein's monster. Well, I'm jumping on him like Mario, and that doesn't seem to be hurting him at all. Good thing I have... Oh, well, good thing I had a super fighting robot. Now I'm just a cowboy. I feel very... Oh, yeah, well, yeah, that makes sense. I'm just I'm just a wiggity wiggity wild 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 west cowboy against Frankenstein's monster. Wasn't there a movie where Jesse... Uh, I can't remember. Jesse James fights fucking Dracula or some shit. I feel like there had to be a movie where at least one cowboy fought at least one Frankenstein's monster. If not, they need to make that happen. It feels very like a, a good B-movie premise. Frankenstein's monster is awoken from the ice in Antarctica, ends up in the Wild West, fights a sheriff. I mean, it writes itself, people. Also, this Frankenstein's monster appears to be a robot. <laughs> yeah. Detroit Rock City! That's the name of a... Isn't that a name of a Kiss song? Or is it Detroit Metal City? I can't remember. No, I think Detroit... Me I'm, 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 I'm misremembering kids. My brain is full of taco meat. Did anyone else's ham... Hamburger, yes. Grandparents call it hamburger meat. Call grand... Gr grand beef! Yes, grand beef! <laughs> Ground beef as hamburger meat.
Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think this game ever got a, uh... Did this game get a, a port? I know Steel Empire got a port to the Sega Genesis, but I don't know if this game got a port. If you know, let me know at this email zone for this web roll. So, Disney is being evil, as usual, and apparently someone died, I don't know the full story of this, I'm a little sick, so forgive me, um, but apparently someone, like, fucking died of a peanut allergy, and, like, Disney's like, no, you can't sue us. That's against the Disney Plus terms and services. Fuck you, we're Disney, and we can do whatever we want, we have gorillions of dollars. I hope their theme parks fucking fail, I hope their plans go through the shitter. True evil. Thy name is the Walt Disney Corporation. Oh, okay, that makes sense. And, uh, Deadlock, the uh, new Valve game, is basically... <coughs> Open. Secret. Did I just kill one of the Blues Brothers? I believe I did. I believe I did. And I got a sea moin! I really should rewatch Hot Fuzz. It's a good movie if you've never seen Hot Fuzz. It's funny as all ding dang to lily hell. The British might not be able to do food, but boy howdy can they do comedy. I might be weird pale homunculuses of people. Speaking as a fellow weird, pale homunculus. I should know, I'm weird and I'm pale and I'm, I guess, a homunculus. I should know. Oh, so that's what that button does. It, it just, it dropped thing from hook. Yeah, eehaw, I am a cowboy. I'm rooting, I'm tooting, and maybe I am always shooting. But now we just need a giant mechanical spider that I think was reused from that Superman movie that never panned out. <laughs> Starting Nicolas Cage. Yeah, Superman. <coughs> Yeah, that was going to be a thing in the 90s. The big spider. I think they mentioned that in that one Flash movie that everyone hated, including me, because they used Christopher Reeves as an AI corpse puppet, which is just a thing I'm not a fan of. I don't want to get into it. Yeah, I'm, I, I was not a fan of that when Disney did that in the uh, Grand Marf Tarkin, you know, Christopher Reeves' character. Or Peter Cushing's character, I'm sorry. And they AI'd him back to, you know, life. You're coming with me, horse. We're, we're gonna do things together. It's gonna be you and me, horse, together forever! Oh, yes, eat that gyrocopters you silly little I, I can't complain I've I always thought the gyrocopters were kind of cool as a kid ever since I saw that Lupin the third movie with them in it yeah buddy and I'll get the kids look I need I need fast bullets are too slow and I need to shoot horse fast good thing I have a bulletproof horse here that's coming with me It's just you and me, bulletproof force. Yeah, 
Yes, Bulletproof Horse, it's your time to shine! You're Bulletproof! Now I'm on this preposterous blimp thing! This reminds me of that laser pig video where they talked about the guy who wanted to create the flying <coughs> the tanks. I can't remember his name now. Nicholas Sparks? No, that's not. I think that's the author of the notebook. Well, I'm too sick to remember. I'm sorry. Was that Fujita flying this impossibly large blimp? It looked like Fujita was flying this impossibly large blimp here for a second. Fujita, you're a Saiyan. You can already fly and shoot the laser. Maybe you just thought, I am the prince of all Saiyans. I will fly the impossibly large blimp. It's me, British Fujita. And after that... <coughs> <laughs> die, I will die, is what I will do. That's just the robot from Laputa. That's just the fucking robot from Laputa. Don't think I haven't seen that movie, Boogie Wings, or Data East. Don't think I haven't. Because I have, but it's one of my favorites. Even though I think Hayao Miyazaki is kind of a fucking asshole. Especially to his son. Oh god, what Miyazaki does to his... Miyazaki just seems like a fucking horrible person. Like, I really wish someone else had his artistic talent and vision. I don't think we've achieved that far enough into the atmosphere to escape gravity, but whatever, it's a cool gimmick. You know, this is an arcade game. Physics aren't really, you know, important here. What's cool is boom boom shooty cowboy action. No, yes! Elephant, 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 elephant. I'm in a fucking elephant. Oh, I wasn't an elephant. I'm, I'm very sad about... There's a flying dog. Boogie Wing Bros, Boogie Boros, Boogie Boards, whatever you call yourselves, fans of this series, genre, game, whatever words, English. Am I doing this wrong? Oh, that's not Vegeta, that's just a magician. That's just a straight up 1930s ass carnival ass magician. Come back here, 1930s ass carnival ass magician. I am a man who may or may not be a cowboy. I, I realized that my what I thought was a cowboy hat was actually probably a pilot's hat. But I like to think I am a cowboy, baby. Yeehaw.
couldn't do that on Nintendo back in the day. No, sir, you couldn't. We're gonna save uh, the Christmas haha -ha, funny jingle land for last, I think. We must develop a taste for freeform jazz and ragtime music. Ah uh, yes, destroying the priceless cultural artifacts of a nation. What are we, Britain? <laughs> I'm proud of that joke. I'm proud of that joke, chat. And I am proud of that joke, and I will stand by... Oh, I want to get in the doohickey! I want to get in the contraption! The thing it... <laughs> yes, destroyed the fossilized records of our nation. Good thing those are most likely display um, and not the actual fossils. So if you didn't know, most museums don't actually display their real fossils unless they're underneath a glass because they're simply too scientifically valuable to have uh, anything but reproductions of the fossils. Generally speaking. Now, those are real fossils that I'm destroying. They survived millions of years in, uh, you know, mineralization, in the process of fossilization, only for some asshole with a plane to destroy them. Sort of like the original Spinosaurus fossils in the, uh, was it the 40s? I can't remember. boss better be a fucking dinosaur. I'll be very angry if the boss of this is not a dinosaur. I'll be very depressed with you. I'm gonna be honest. Boogie Wings, you can... You better give me a dang dinosaur, or at least a mummy, or, 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 or... I don't know. Wait, wait. Well, okay, here comes. Better be a freaking dinosaur. Sorry, I've been using Doohickey and What's in Gizmo a lot. The internet is... I mean, that that doesn't count as a dinosaur because it's a pterodactyl, which is not a dinosaur. Pterodactyls were a, uh, are pterosaurs. A completely different order of animals altogether entirely. Thank you for coming to Ted's prehistory... Uh, 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 English. I'm too sick, I'm sorry. When them saints go marching in. Oh, when them saints. They go, oh, it's. <coughs> <coughs> my disappointment is immeasurable, and my day has been ruined. It is not a dinosaur. It's the Trojan horse, though. Well. We did it. Hooray. We saved. We didn't save the cultural history of our nation. Ragtime! But what about her body? We flushed it down the potty and having a nature sing. I'm a 12-year-old, I'm sorry. I like how that snowman has a little traffic cone for a hat. That's cute. I like it. Merry Christmas! Oh, oh no, we killed, we killed the Santa actor. That's gonna scar some children. Did I ever talk to you about that video about the guy who dressed up as Santa Claus to rob people? Now that's a thing of what's it? That's some fucking labyrinth-ass, goblin-ass fucking engineering right there. That reminds me of that drill thingy from the movie Labyrinth. If you've never seen the movie Labyrinth, I, I really like it. 
It's underground, baby. Also, does Labyrinth count as an Isekai movie? I I'll die on the hill that the Wizard of Oz is an Isekai, even though Oz in the books is, uh, like, on Earth, whatever. Joy to the world, the Lord has come. Oh no, it's everywhere. Seriously, Jesus, that's a lot of jizz. <laughs> this local blaspheme joke has been brought to you by... Insert uh, joke here, I got nothing, I'm sorry. Yet again, some very goblin-esque engineering. I feel like a goblin would create something like this. I don't know, it's got goblin energy. I don't need to explain myself, I'm sorry, I'm sick. Ah yes, all I wanted for Christmas, a showgirl. <laughs> Not showgirls on DVD, but a showgirl. I'm gonna stop while I'm ahead, I'm sorry. This won't be a silent night, because everyone will be dead. Well, I mean, that, no, that, that won't make it a... You, words, English, English. It won't be a silent night because of all the gunfire and battle and explosions and the screaming of the innocents. These men had families. They're not coming home for Christmas because I killed them. And they say I'm not the bad guy of this story. Ah, American football! Play football! Did I just kick the dog? Oh, oh no, the dog didn't deserve that. <coughs> Wait, these men may or may not be Nazis. So they may or... Oh, I died. They may be World War I soldiers, in which case, yeah, they're... No one was the good guys in the... Well, there were some worse guys... If that's the case, there were some guys that were just doing their job. They were enlisted soldiers. So many young men went to die in a hole. Both physically and metaphorically. I got nothing funny. I'm sorry, I'm not Ernest Hemingway. I can't get drunk and write some of the most classic American literature and then move to Florida and then kill myself. I can do two of those things, and I'll let you decide which one of those of those two that I will do eventually. Those flags seem, like, not of the 19th century. <laughs> P 
poo. Ha! <laughs> I'm a child. I want the bulletproof horse for Christmas. That's what I've always wanted. My bulletproof pony. Then again, this is full of weird anachronisms, like biplanes that can shoot lightning. I don't think we have that technology even now. And weird steampunk uh, fucking robot Santa Claus. Never mind, this is the greatest video game ever. He's evil! I love it! Ten out of... <laughs> Not so jolly St. Nicholas over here. Almost killed me. Oh, by the way, if you haven't figured it... If you haven't... If you haven't figured it out by now, I'm using the power of a turbo arcade controller to make this happen, so that way I can shoot faster than any human possibly could shoot, except for a shmup lord. Larry Shmupla. I got nothing, I'm sorry. We did it. We defeated Mariah Carey. She can no longer rise from her grave. The power of ragtime ruined a lot of people's Christmas. And I'm the good guy. Okay, now it's time to fight a fucking 1930s ass fucking magician. That's a Dracula castle, if I've ever seen it. It's good to see that this guy is probably some kind of mad doctor of some sort. <coughs> you don't get a castle with this kind of gears and bullshit unless you're either a vampire or a mad scientist or some kind of supervillain. This is definitely a supervillain's castle. Or someone at least who's a morally ethical medical degree of some kind. You don't need gears this big for normal, everyday scientific purposes. And a piston that does nothing. No, 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 no. This guy's a mad scientist of some kind. So yeah, we were fighting a supervillain. Of some sort. This guy's clearly taking, trying to take over the world with his army of jabronis.
Yeah, those are definitely mad scientist pillars. Now I know my cowboy slash pilot is at least m somewhat morally justified in killing this... Well, he's not morally justified, but, you know, if he's stopping someone from conquering the world and, you know, unleashing dictatorial powers of evil and whatnot, I could at least justify that to some court of law, I feel like. I feel like legally I am justified. Not morally, but legally I could justify my character's actions going, uh, I was stopping a dictator, sir. So what I'm doing is not technically war crimes, because I won. That's how the Allies did it, right? Yeah, that's how the Allies excused Canada's war crimes. And America's, and Britain's. <coughs> okay, it's time for D Dr. Von 19... Whatever fucking mm, street magician. Mm. Okay. Evil mad scientist time traveling bullshit. Oh yeah, okay, then, yeah, no, no, yeah, no, this is World War One then. Nah, you're evil. We have the power of YouTube, so we can look up the ending if we say yes. But I want to fight the final boss, which is Dr. Mad fucking Von Scientist Street Magician over here. I mean, yet again, I don't think time travel is, uh, whatever, ethics. I mean, is he, is he trying to stop World War II? Because I feel like he, there are easier ways, especially than with, like, a fucking time machine. <coughs> like, you could just tell people to get Hitler into art school or kill baby Hitler or I don't know. <laughs> not become a dictator with future cyber weapons. I just realized he's maybe fighting me inside of his time machine. Why don't go back... Why not go back in time and just kill me before I'm born? You call yourself a genius? I immediately thought of that. Don't matter, I killed him. Power Baller Harrow, Ace Eda. Ultra Hardware. Oh, wait, I thought that was some guy's name on the team. Nine hundred RR, I don't get that. Guts Toya. Toya, I'm sorry. 
I'd like to thank everyone who made this game. It's good. I'm still sick. Magic finger. I magic... Oh no, last night you magic fingered my girlfriend. You fiend. You rube. Dancing, Ikigaki. Yeah, that looks like a time-traveling Waluigi. And therefore I don't trust him, because he's gonna put his Waluigi in a vending machine. I don't trust Waluigi. Waluigi would definitely, the thing he'd do with dictatorial power is put his Waluigi in a vending machine. I'm just checking on YouTube to see if there's a different ending. If you say yes to him. You know. Because I'm not playing the game over again. We have, we have, you know, YouTube. We have the technology. We live in a, we live in the space age future year of 2024. I'm just, I'm double, I'm discount double checking, you know. Okay, let's let's see. We're just double checking. Doesn't seem like there's a different ending. So I'm gonna get us something to sign off because I'm I'm at my throat my throat hurty. Next stream will be a big big golden sun stream. The big golden sun stream. And since YouTube's DJ program is gonna fuck us all over with its music fuck rottery. You know, I'm going to get us something to sign us off on.
because I'm in a mood. That's it. Goodbye. JoJo's 